So what has happened here? So patient has been diagnosed with tuberculosis and they have started anti-tubercular therapy. And there is a history of some drug exposure in the last one week. And patient is now coming with uh, generalized leg swelling and there is a rash on the back for almost a week. And uh, on examination, she has a macrobabular rash and there is a costovertebral angle tenderness. So what's the most likely diagnosis? Look at the values, the creatinine is elevated. So in this context, I'm going to take it as an AKI because it's an acute rise in creatinine. And eosinophils are also higher. So in fact, marginally higher, but still it's higher. There is eosinophilia. So when the patient is coming with this kind of rash, eosinophilia, AKI, okay, or sometimes they may mention WPC cast in the urine, sterile pyuria. So if you get this picture in the background of a drug exposure, I'm going to make a diagnosis of acute interstitial nephritis. Acute tubular necrosis, of course, would have had a muddy brown cast in the urine and patient will be mostly oliguric. AN patients generally will be non-oliguric, but ATN patients will be generally oliguric. But in the context of what's happening, AAN is more likely than ATN. HSP, of course, it's not the diagnosis. It's just to confuse you because of the rash and HSP is going to come with palpable purpura and it's very common in children and adolescents less than 20 years, not in 45 year old. And it's going to come with the classic triad of GIT involvement, arthritis, arthralgia and uh, palpable purpura. They might have renal involvement, but it's going to be nephritic picture. So you're going to have RBC cars in the urine. And IG nephropathy, again, it's going to produce glomerular nephritis and patients will not have any systemic manifestation like this in IG nephropathy. It's just kidney problem, nothing more than that. So patient is going to present with amateuria with RBC cars and maybe proxy worsening of creatinine. You don't have any systemic features like this in IG nephropathy. The only thing that I can diagnose is acute intestinal nephritis. Mm -hmm.